Hey guys, welcome to the stream. This is Ryder. We're all coming to you live from the Hangar Billiards and Sports Lounge. We're here at 121 Fairfield Boulevard, and we're here for the Sunday Open Eight Ball Tournament. So we're out a little bit of a stir there. We're uh, here currently into the opening round matchup, and this one is uh, game number seven, I believe. One, two, three, four. The score is currently four to two for Mike Handy. <clears throat> oh, I gotta include the the races on there for you guys too, so off to a bit of a rough start today. Maybe I can start over right now. Alright, so welcome to the stream guys. 121 square field boulevard is where we're at. We're uh, here we're at the hangar. And oh let me use my name is too. Yeah, a little rough start. I wasn't quite ready. All right, there we go. All right, and this is an opening round matchup between Trent Golden and Mike Handy. Right now we got Mike Handy at the table, wearing the gray shirt. It's got a nice little spread of this table, almost like tic tac toe, except for that 10 ball that's sitting at the top of the table. But it's not in a bad spot, you just have to get up there, that's all. I'm gonna do a reset, not like the stream, but how I started. A rough start. So here, if I was him, I would just try to get onto that 10 ball and then come down for the 13 ball. But I guess getting getting to the 10 ball would help him out to get the easier shot on the 8 ball for the finish. But I think you should get that out of the way now. If anything, if he's going to set up for the 13 ball, he needs to draw back on this 11 ball, set up a good angle on that, come off the cushion, and come over to the left side of the table for the 10 ball. And then you're kind of either flirting with a pocket or you're going to run into the one, one of the two, unless you have the perfect angle, perfect spin. And that all depends on what kind of position he gets here off the 11 ball. Oh, he's got the nine ball up there too. I didn't realize that. I thought that was a uh, solid. Off to a real rough start today. That means it's going to be a classic day here at the hangar. Yeah, he's all right now. I didn't realize that was a nine ball up there. Got okay on it. Eight ball to get on the hill. Oh, that was a match. She was on five. All right, so six to two, the final score. <clears throat> Mike Handy just won. We'll have another matchup coming up right away. Now, Tom LaFornia playing against Warren in the back there, and Guy playing against Curtis on the left. Tom and Warren on the right. And further to the right, we have Mike Vautour playing against Dave. Dieter Bonas came came out to play today. He's having a matchup against Tim Sinclair. 
Maybe we'll go there. Yeah. Check that out in the meantime until the sun is another matchup. Here's on the eight ball. Oh, nice shot, DJ. Was that for the match? Yeah, that was for the match. There's Mike in the background, just missed a shot. I don't have the thing. Kevin has it. Sorry, I didn't need to on you guys' ears. Okay, so we'll go to... Check out this table, I guess. In the meantime. This is Guy Smith against Curtis Chaborak. Guy Smith at the table right now. One of them is on the hill, because I believe they both race the five. And you can see the coins on the four spot right now. I don't think he really wanted to run into the eight ball. And I don't know, maybe he should have just committed to running into it. Because now the three ball's tied up. Alright, so I'm going to start over anyways. Welcome to the stream, guys. We're here at the Hangar, 121 Square Foot Boulevard. It's a Sunday Open 8 ball. We have 17 players in the building for this one today. And we have some amazing players. Amazing, amazing players. You have no idea what kind of pool you're going to see today. We have players like Cornell McLean Jr., Mike Vautour, Tom LaFournier, Randy Baggett is in the house, Mike Handy who won it last week. Kevin Zuko is here as well. Hasn't played in a few weeks, but always a dangerous player whenever he comes out to play. Tim Sinclair is here as well. He's, you know, always running in the in the top four. Dangerous player. Lots of experience. Han Yu is in the house as well. He's playing against Kyle Story right now. He's a seven, so he's he's gonna be playing against some guys that are sevens. But he's also gonna be playing against some guys where they're seven minus one, so he'll he'll be a six against them. Oh, he's gonna miss the five ball. And he would have been okay for shape on the four ball, but he, he really, really wanted to focus on the shape on the four ball, so he came up shy on the five. It could have been a small adjustment, right? Maybe he wanted to put a little bit of spin or something on it. Uh, let me fix this mic here, because we got the game going on in the background right now. There we go. Up, man. How'd your match go? Not good? 7-1. Seven, one. Seven, one, yeah. yeah. Is he playing good or did you uh, give him opportunities? I gave him opportunities. Yeah. I had my opportunities that I missed. Yeah. Like early I should have won the first rack. And I go oh yeah. What what are you normally? Oh okay. Four or five. He asked me, I said yeah, four. So that's, that's what he marked you down as a four. Should I say it's seven? <laughs> huh? Yeah, he's playing. Randy's here too. Junior's playing. Tom LaFournier. 
A lot of good competition today. It'd be a really afternoon for me. Uh, it might be for a few people actually. Just gotta hope that you don't cross paths yeah, until you earn the money. On you, man. Yeah, I know that sucks. <laughs> you, you're not playing? No, I'm not playing. Watch that uh, straight pool. Yeah. yeah that was fun. It's a uh, different game, man, but it's entertaining. I was, I was playing that on Thursday. Were you? Yeah. I was like, buy a dime. Yeah. No, it's good, man. It, it'll help your game, right? If you can run. Yeah, I was noticing my pattern there. It's like, actually good. It's like, getting better. Wasn't the best, but, like, yeah. But you I see. I put on you positions that I want to make kind of thing. Like, yeah. Putting balls, taking different turns. No, it's good. Keep doing it, man. Try to just build up, right? Set, set a mark. Yeah. Whatever your mark is, let's say you only make 10 ball run, right? Then next time try to make 15, then 20, right? And just up your game until you get to a certain point. Once you're making like 30, 40 point run, you'll be running tables and eight ball, nine ball, and 10 ball. The break ball is so it's difficult. You got to think about that the whole ride. The whole time, yeah. It teaches you more about the cue ball. Definitely. It's a really good game. That's why I want to start having those tournaments here. I have no idea what the score is on this one. Waiting for a match though. Oh, that was one of them was on the hill. I'm assuming that guy's the guy, the guy that's on the hill. I'll know right away if he makes his eight ball and they shake hands, it's over. That's going to bring us a main table TV matchup. Oh, they're playing music now. I guess the game is over. I'm going to go back to my protection. Randy Daggett stepping into the camera. 5-3, that was the final score. That was the last eight ball. All right, so I, I got to go find out what's up for the next TV table matchup because I don't have anything right now. Mike Handy's practicing. All the tables are open, so there's got to be matches. Bring it back this way. I'm going to go find out what's up. I'll be right back.
All right, this is going to be a nice match. All those tables are empty right now, but this match is going to be coming up right now. And all those tables will be full again. Uh, for our table, though, for the main table, we have a matchup between Cornell McLean Jr. and Tom LaFornia. And let me find the bracket. I gotta do a couple of things. First, I gotta take this here. I'll do a link. Okay, so share the stream on there for them. I'm going to find the bracket now. That's Junior there, just warming up. Tom is on his way here right away. I'm going to get this match going. Okay, so that's down there. Post a bracket here for the locals to see. Seven five. Yeah. And then we'll post it on Esports live stream. Oh, well, looks like they started. All right, so there's the, the launch bracket for you guys to follow it up to see who's all here today. We're going to want to get, well, we want to get that close. We want to get a little bit closer, not that much. There we go. All right, so rack number one between these guys. It's a 7-5 race. Let me just fix things here. He's got it all figured out here. I don't want to take this four buck to Not getting a picture for my second camera for some reason. We'll see, yeah, just perfect on the one ball. We have the top rail, some spin to get set up for the eight ball in the same pocket, or come down for the side pocket like you just did. Might have even gone to the corner too. I mean. Shot, good finish. He'll take the first game.
Oh, I gotta fix this so long. Alright, so we got to see more traffic here. Everybody was kind of like on a smoke break, I think. Junior back to the table. First crack at this table. Doesn't really need to move anything around, but he's gonna have to because that angle that he had didn't really work. He might still have the shot on the two ball, maybe to the corner. Not the seven ball still available. It's not a bad thing if you leave it there. Four goals to the top left corner. I'll have the easy two ball after that. Can use this to maybe come down and try to get into that area to set up for the five or set up an angle for the breakout on the three. I'm just going to go for the breakout right there on the three. Almost got it. I mean, he sort of has it because once he moves that five ball out of the way, I believe that three goes to the side pocket. Trying to get my second camera working so I can. I'm trying to make these cameras match up. 